Welcome back to our class, everyone. Today we'll be talking about Roy Lichtenstein. Roy Lichtenstein was a pop artist in the 1960s who worked with comic strips and also onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia is a word that literally means a word that names a sound but also sounds like that word, such as the pig makes oink oink. Example of onomatopoeia will be oink. Another example will be pow. When you punch someone or get into a crash, the example of that will be pow and so on. So, what he will do, Lichtenstein will take one word from a comic strip and blow it up super big using bright colors. The colors we'll be using are called complementary. They are opposites on the color. Here I have purple and yellow. If you look at the color wheel, purple and yellow are opposites on the color wheel. You can choose any two colors you want that are opposite on the color wheel. First step, you gotta choose your onomatopoeia. For mine, I decided to go with aw. Aw is literally saying, you see something super cute, like oh, that's so cute, oh, it's adorable. All right, so we're gonna draw our letters first using a pencil. There are also stencils provided if you want to use a stencil. But I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball it. Start off with my A. Draw super lightly at first. Anytime you are drawing, you want to draw lightly. It's very hard to erase. So we're going to draw lightly at first. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and speed this video up a little bit. Take, take note of how each leather is touching. That's very important. It will make your life so much easier once you are cutting if they're all touching. So make sure every letter is all touching. Next step, you're gonna go in and make some design around it. Up to you what kind you wanna do. I'm doing something cute. I'm gonna go with some squiggly lines. I'm just kinda of like make a shape around it. Doesn't really matter. What you do, you can do zigzag. If I'm doing pow, I probably want to do something more like a zigzag line for that effect. So we have all. Next step, we're going to color it in using complementary colors. First, you're going to outline with Sharpie and then color it in using complementary colors, which are opposites on the color wheel. Alright, got my first layer done, on to the next one. You need to have at least four layers. So this will be one layer, that will be a second layer, three, and then newspaper will be four. And it's up to you which way you want to do. I personally want to do the newspaper first. I think that'll look cooler. But you did not have to do that. So, always place it on top here, so you have an idea of what you're doing. Alright, and next, I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Make some lines around it. And then we're going to cut this part out now too. All right, so I have my first two layers, got some newspaper the words my onomatopoeia as i said which is all then i'm going to do one last layer in yellow and glue it on top of the purple paper and that will be done for my last layer i want to do something more exciting so i'm going to be using zigzag instead of the curved wavy lines so around here i'm going to go in and make a zigzag line all throughout In 
And so underneath that, I'm gonna go back with my bende dot and make dots with using tempera sticks. These here are called tempera sticks. They're kind of, they look like glue sticks, but it's actually dry paint. You go in very quickly, just add some dots here and there, speed this up. All right, for our last and final step, notice how I didn't do all the dots because this is going to be covering it up. Just like that, it's all covering it up. So next, we're going to be doing some glue. Dot, dot, not a lot. So right now we have two layers. I have one more on top. That will be three layers, at least three layers. You can do a fourth one if you want, but that's up to you. Here we have two layers, but the last one, that's gonna be three. And there we have it, our final one. If you wanted to add some more detail, you could go back in with some tempera sticks and add some designs on the outside, but that's totally up to you. To recap, we used different layers, cutting out papers. We used block letters, also known as onomatopoeia, the way a word actually sounds, like oink, oink, pal, nay, bane, bleep, bleep, the way a word sounds. Up to you what you want to use. So here's my onomatopoeia. I use complementary colors. Yellow and purple are complementary. They are opposites on the color wheel. I use Bende dots because that's what Roy Lichtenstein uses in his artwork. And there you have it. We got three layers. If you wanted to add some spirals here, you could with like gel pens. Up to you. But this I think looks pretty good.